Ooh, check out this, guys. Exciting new content coming, guys. For the next couple weeks, you're gonna be going on all different types of lakes. And today we're starting at Rin Lake, local to where I live. Uh, we're gonna be fishing Rin Lake at least for the next episode, maybe even have two episodes in there, I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna hit Crab Orchard, we're gonna hit Kincaid, we're gonna hit a lot of lakes, and then we're gonna to top this off because we've got the national championship starting next week, then those episodes are gonna episodes are gonna to start to flow in. So a lot of new lakes, uh, you know, rounding out the summer, tough bites, you know, for the most part everywhere. Of course, we have had that cool down, which really gave us a spike in bites. Um, which I'm hoping we're going to experience today. So we're going to be vertical jigging with the Savage 13 um, today on Rim Lake. Um, some of those other lakes, it's going to be a combination of casting, etc. But on this particular lake, it's usually um, vertical fishing, straight up and down, um, singling out one single crappie, and that's what we're going to do today. So it's absolutely still right now, beautiful, early morning. This is definitely a muddy water lake. So we can get away with a lot of things, and we use uh, the optimized sniping braid. So that's a little bit, a little wider diameter, a 0.12, 12, a tw uh, still a 10 pound braid. Uh, and then we're gonna be setting that hook with that Savage, you're gonna see. And hopefully we'll get away with a 13 footer today, but if not, we can always add that two foot section to make it a 15, or a three foot section to make it a 16. But we'll see how that plays out. Let's do it. Check out the maps, guys, awesome. All right, guys. All right, guys. <laughs> beautiful morning. Beautiful morning up here on the uh, north end of Rin Lake, which is typically where we go during tournament time um, on either either leg of the lake. Um, the only changes I make on my uh, unit when I come here is basically changing my depth here to 20 foot because we are going to be in shallower water, um, and we'll see if that holds true. But right now we're kind of cruising to our first row of of timber that we're going to hit. And we're going to see how it goes. We, again, we're fishing with the Savage here, guys. We're fishing with it as a 13-footer right now. But if you don't know, this can be switched into a 15, a 16. And then eventually, coming here in the shows, you guys are going to have an opportunity to buy a 5-foot sections to turn this into an 18-footer. It's been fantastic rod. It's very versatile. Uh, actually switching on the move, which is very cool and unique. All right, let's find some timber here. All right, well, geez, that didn't take long. Not a bad little starter fish, just a floater. Gosh, that's a beautiful fish. A lot of white fish here, a lot of white crappie, guys. With vertical lines right there, as you can see. Perfect. Letting them go, though. Good target right here, it looks like. Now I'm just going with a simple 1 16th ounce jig head, guys, um, <clears throat> for my hair jigs. Um, that's typically what I use in tournament fishing, um, which I would consider this very close to it. Um, I, I don't know what it is, but it just seems to be, well, oh, these guys are really moving towards them. Um, but they seem to enjoy a 1 16th. It's not to say that I won't go to a 132nd though. Um, been there, done that as well. When I feel like sizing down is needed, then that's what we do. All 
right now I'm trying to get a good pass on this guy right here. This is great tournament uh, practice for Darbone, by the way. Again, another target coming in right here. Looks like we got two targets. Small little guy. They are biting here, guys. Small guy, but a lot of fun. And we still got one right there, the one that we were targeting. You can't control which one bites it sometimes. Unfortunately, you can try, but sometimes it's, it's gonna happen. So <clears throat> we're gonna move. Again, our number is usually around 12. There it is right there, coming in. There we got him. Ah, smaller fish. Definitely, we're gonna go to that guy. Look at this guy coming up. Good night. Good fish here, guys. Mm -mm -mm. all right welcome to Rin lake guys we are catching a ton of fish really quick and uh again primarily white crappie vertical uh, fishing keeping your hand on that braid is essential right we're gonna let this guy go um now when i come to Rin lake typically i'm using the optimized from sniping grade it's a a little bit beefier 10 pound uh, still only a 0.12 so if you were to compare that to other braids you're going to see that it's still an extremely small diameter compared to everybody else what they are using but you can also go here to these lakes with comet this is a 0.10 this is my my casting slash vertical jig and this guy's going to work great too but that optimized definitely for rim lake definitely being able to get right on top of them having the crappie breaks helps with the um stability of the boat boat control which of course as we know is one of the most important things and it's just a beautiful day guys it doesn't get much better than this no wind absolutely perfect conditions let's do some more now there's a lot of fish that are just hanging out so you can see this guy right here it's just a crappie hanging out probably roughly the same size as the one we just caught um, now they are biting really really fast today um, but we have put an enormous amount of fish in the boat already for it to be this early. Um, and I think it's just going to continue to get better actually. So we're dropping right on this guy here. He's on it already. Boom, and he hit it. Quick bite. Low methodical white crappie right there, boys and girls. Awesome. Again, I kind of switched it up in terms of the hair jig onto a 1 16th ounce with a mostly chartreuse tail. You can see this guy is actually available in that fishing pack. Let's go fishing pack. Um, so you guys can check that out if you're interested in that color scheme. We really haven't locked in on a color yet here. Um, right now we're catching a lot of fish on just about everything. We've only went through two though, so. We are going to try a dark color out just to see if that changes it, the commitment level. Getting a lot of short strikes right now. All right, guys. Definitely the uh, sun's got up. We have caught a ton of fish so far. I have not shown all of them because there's been a lot of smaller fish. Um, but definitely some good eater sized fish too. And I don't think bait color is mattering at all. For the most part, anytime I'm on Run Lake. I mean, there's been some times where there's been some baits that have really stuck out. But for the most part, I think hair jigs is just always a good, solid play here on this lake. Water's not crazy muddy. Um, water's down just barely, just a little bit, but not much. Uh, this is kind of your typical north end of Rin Lake fishing going on right now. We're catching just about everything that we drop on, at least getting a bite. Um, but a lot of quick bites, 
which is you know a little bit frustrating so i have downsized to, to the 130 second ounce uh jigs and we are just and they're just they're fish everywhere i mean every every turn you make you've got a, a new target um, which is kind of hilarious which is great fishing you love that right so let's put a couple more in the boat again we've got our uh mapping going our 8600 series if you guys are interested in any of that stuff check it out at ptg those guys will take care of you another random fish just hanging out and they're pretty still and they're not spooky so i've stayed with the 13 footer the whole time never have had to you know change i think we've spooked maybe one or two but for the most part we can get there with the 13 footer and i always say you're going to use the the shortest rod of available so you can set that hook fast so we're right on top of this guy right now and then we got him good fish and that's what kind of what we've been fishing catching right now so we need, we're, we're still on the hunt for the big big fish but that's a that's a solid eater on Wren Lake and Again, a good white crappie bite, man. It's a thump. It's an absolute thump. It's very similar to tournament style fishing. So, you know, we just move, move, move until we find a patch of bigger fish is typically the, is the way we go about it. Another good solid target right here on the side of this tree. Again, I'm using the optimized. I can't emphasize that enough. When I go to these lakes, I'm using the optimized sniping braid. That's just a slightly beefed up, only a 0.12. Um, it's built for this style fishing. Um, so you will love the optimized from Sniping Braid for this. This is just super sensitive. We're right on that timber now, but I'm not worried about it because I've got the braid that is built for it. Now we're gonna lose that fish. But it's just because the tree's now in our way. But my assumption is the fish is still there. We were hung up on that timber a little bit. There we go. Right on the timber. Good fish, good solid fish. All right, so that's gonna end this episode. Kind of your eight to 10 foot uh, vertical on timber. Without a doubt, there's tons of fish here, but what I'm gonna do on the next video is we're gonna go deep, deep at Wren Lake and see if we can find some fish on that deeper 20 foot timber type structure. So, and see if the fish get any bigger. So thanks for uh, watching. Please subscribe and share the video if you wouldn't mind. Vertical fishing on timber. Uh, for, don't forget about the Savage the optimized from sniping braid and of course hair jigs for me if you've been following the channel you know how i feel about those i think that they are efficient way of getting a ton of fish in the boat without having to jack with any plastics or minnows take it easy guys